Hey yo, what is pop, 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 popping people? It is your boy, Young M, aka Little Monkey. About to climb them trees, man, because you know I'm about to get this green. It is just Champ here, coming at you with a new video. And Splatoon 3 has had a very interesting life cycle. We know this, we know this. Of course, this life cycle mainly comes in with the reference of the many bugs that has plagued this game. <laughs> Trust me, like we know, especially when we're coming from launch date. Of course, there was a time when it was really bad, like really, really bad. Splatoon has had its fair share of really bad bugs. And of course, bugs happen in video games, right? And even when you do have a dedicated team of playtesters who try to run through a careful log of stuff, you know, that you don't want to have issues with, when you have a selective team versus millions of players, there tends to be a big difference into which group of individuals is actually going to find issues with their game, right? Which is fine. Again, bugs happen in games but of course the response to how these bugs happen is very important right so of course we've seen this in the past um you know people have documented these things negus has like a whole log <laughs> he has a whole log of this stuff um on his youtube when it comes to bug documentation um of course and we can even see recently with the um the, the brush issue or the roller and brush issue i'm not really sure if it was rollers included but brushes had an issue where on certain parts of maps they wouldn't be able to you know um have hit detection or something like that wiseman made a video about it uh nintendo had addressed it almost immediately cool perfect you know again they've been doing this for a while throughout the game's history there have been many bugs many game breaking bugs that they have addressed the rainmaker issue y'all know about that the mode had to be like out of rotation for like a week or a couple days took care of it but there are currently two big issues uh, within the game right now, and if you don't know what these are, these are the big swig roller on Util, which is the very important one, and the um the ink block issue, right? So the big swig is a bug that occurs where when you hit a certain, uh, I think it is a metal pipe underneath the snipe of the map, it causes the game to shit itself. <laughs> like straight diarrhea, bro. Like brown all over the place. The game, for some reason, cannot handle when this happens. And so it, it eats frames. It it eat like dinner. It eats it, bro. Like seriously. And so this is really difficult because there's been conversations about banning the map, which I'm pretty sure it currently is in competitive play. Because if you don't know this this glitch or this bug it eats it can eat your inputs which is a big no-no right um and so there's also the more interesting bug with bug uh which is the inkblot so for those of you who aren't aware because this is a much more discreet one inkblot has a specialized tech uh where on the left side of your i believe it is the i believe that area is called court and cogs whatever on the left side of the map when you go up the ramp you can squid roll onto a, a, a sign actually, land on the sign and then jump up and get access to the bats. The bats is the back area that you use the show to jump onto. Anyways, so why am I mentioning a map tech in conjunction with, you know, an actual game breaking um, issue? So for those of you who don't know, Kiver had posted a Twitter clip um, where he had used this tech uh, I think he was using Splash or T-Tech, one of the others. And, you know, it was a very impressive um, uh, clip. You know, this Kiver, it's the usual with this guy, right? But um, a couple hours after he had posted this clip, Kiver had said that there was issues uh, that somebody had received, I believe, a two-week ban for this, right? And so it is very interesting because here's the thing. Here's the thing, and this is the, the point. Um... The big swig and this inkblot tech, which has been apparently documented for over two weeks now, has not been addressed by Nintendo. And so this is problematic because people are receiving bans for this, two week bans, as I believe I had mentioned. So the big swig, I can understand this. You, you don't need to be above the age of four years old to realize you breaking the game and ruining the experience for everyone. Because if it was just for yourself, it's like whatever, you're being stupid and you're only affecting yourself. But this tech affects everyone. It's like, yeah, this should be a seriously battable offense. But with Inkblot, this is a actually really creative, genuinely like, you know, it's, it's kind of like a cool map technique that people can use because getting up into the bats of Inkblot is usually very difficult. But this technique removes a lot of 
um, harm that you can put yourself at, right? So it's really interesting the take that Nintendo has on this. Instead of Nintendo kind of looking at it and saying, hey, this is pretty creative, they're actually, you, they're, they're finding legitimate ways to utilize um, the map. This is very creative movement. Instead of doing that, these motherfuckers are going, yo, ban this bitch. Straight up just remove this motherfucker from my game, right? Which is very interesting. Uh, and I, I kind of want to understand why they would do this, you know? Again, the big swig, perfectly fine. Uh, abusing the Rainmaker glitch, understandable. The Rainmaker glitch, of course, was way back when, when if you like died on the Rainmaker pedestal, it glitched the game and would give you one point. Like it would send it straight to one point, which is understandable. That that can be seen as bannable. I get that. But the Inkblot thing is kind of just confusing for me, right? So I love to see at least by the end of the week, maybe after Christmas, which would make sense, maybe for the Splatfest, I don't know. Um, Nintendo brings this up, they can at least address it, give some clarity, because this seems like something that they should have definitely talked about much sooner. Um, for the Inkblot thing, if they really don't want people doing this, remove the sign, take it off of the map, which I, I really wish they wouldn't, because again, this is just such a really cool technique for aggressive players, flankers, namely to use. Um, of course, the big swig thing needs to be fucking fixed immediately because it's not a good map. People don't really like it for the most part, but it still is played. It sees um, competitive play. Uh, I believe it was played actually in a couple Japanese tournaments and it might have seen play in some Western ones as well. Um, and nobody would really do that in a competitive environment, but it's just the fact that this shouldn't exist, right? So we can see that. But yeah, just wanted to bring this about, talk about it, have some discussion. Um, aside from that, nothing really else I gotta say. If you have any thoughts about this, do feel free to tell me in the comments. I have been Just Champ. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a good time.